Hey everybody, this is a very quick and informal tutorial. You may hear the TV in the background, you may hear a dog barking, but uh, don't worry too much about that. I just wanted to quick jump on here and show you because uh, this was inspired by a friend of mine. And I know there's a lot of, con there's a lot of confusion surrounding this um, with sharing content on Facebook. It's, it's not always so straightforward. So <clears throat> if you have a Facebook page, so assuming you have a YouTube channel or like say a podcast on Spotify, when you go and share the Spotify link to your profile page or to your Facebook page or your YouTube uh, video to your Facebook page, you might want to share it to other pages. But let me show you what happens. Let me show you the problem. We're going to we're going to start with this first example with a YouTube link. So this right here is a YouTube link from AJ Core's YouTube channel. And as you can see, uh, it's on the United Content Creators Facebook page. And I have uh, I put here the, this little blurb creator of the week colon AJ Core TV YouTuber switch streamer and gamer with a link to his YouTube channel and uh, hashtags. Now, if you go to share this, if you click share, and you say you go to, you share to a group, and then you click the group, look what happens. Nothing is here. It doesn't pull in all this information. So you'd have to manually plug that in. Now, another problem is this. Say you're under your own profile, your own personal profile. You go to click share, and you want to share it to your newsfeed. Don't don't click share now public. Don't click share now because it'll share it automatically without making any tweaks to this post. And I'll show you why in a second. Watch this. You want to click share to newsfeed. And see right here, it's blank, but it gives you the option to include original post. If you click this checkbox... It'll now pull in the page United Content Creators and then the little blurb that United Content Creators wrote above the video. So when you go to post this, it's actually going to show all of this, the exact same post that's on the United Content Creators page, which would be the same for like if you were sharing from your page, it would show your page, your page's name, the blurb, and the video. Now this is great for marketing purposes because... You don't want to just share the video because you're not advertising the page at all. This way you get to advertise your page and it's it also serves as um, content curation. If your page is, is more of a, a curation page where you're always sharing different people's content, then you really want to make sure that you have your page's name included in there and the blurb that you write so that you're, get, you're getting acknowledgement for all the work that you're doing. Now let me do, the, uh, do another really quick example. I'm going to keep this video very short. Um, let's use um, Pisnorkas as an example because I know that their podcast is on Spotify. So earlier they shared the podcast from Spotify to their page. So... If I go to the page and I want to share this and I want to share everything they made here, uh, the little blurb they wrote, what do I have to do? I'm going to click share. I don't want to click share now because if I click share now, it's just going to share the link from Spotify. I want to share this whole thing from Pusnorkus. So I'm going to click on share to newsfeed and then, uh-oh, what do we have here? Let's see. Well, this is one of those things. Oh, boy. Hmm. We have a problem. See, this is one of those quirks with Facebook where sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's not showing up for this one. Now, I know sometimes on... Um, I was looking for the three little dots because sometimes on your mobile device, on your phone... Uh, a lot of times you'll see like three dots right in the top right right hand corner 
above the the video or link uh, image. And if you click on that, it'll give you the option to include original post. But I'm not seeing it here. So um, honestly, you know, in a situation like this, what I would do is uh, this is the uh, this is the dirty fix here. You would um, just copy and paste. But unfortunately, um, you're not going to be giving any credit to the original page. Um, but yeah, that's sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And uh, there's really no explanation for that. That's all Facebook. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. There's been a lot of complaints about this uh, as of recently because uh, with uh, Facebook doing different updates with their website, um, Sometimes the include original post feature is there. Sometimes it's not. And a lot of business owners and a lot of people who have Facebook pages are, are angry and up in arms about this because they rely on that to market their page. So anyways, uh, I hope this cleared things up. I know this is a little bit confusing. Um, it's a bit frustrating. It's frustrating to me sometimes. And I've been doing this for a long time. Um, but yeah, this is how you work through it. Um, this is the this is the dirty way of doing it, but um, it works in a pinch if you have to do it this way. But yeah, I mean, uh, so let me see. I don't think I have any. Let me let me try this one real quick. Share to news feed, and that one's not showing it either. So let me see if I have any YouTube links on this page because it's interesting that it was working for YouTube but not Spotify but I don't think I have any YouTube let's see okay let me go to um, Glitz and Glam TV Productions and I'm going to go to my personal page I know there's YouTube. Okay, so here's another here's another YouTube uh, video that I shared to um, first United Content Creators, then I shared it to the Glitz and Glam TV Productions page. So now with my own personal profile, I'm going to click Share, Share to Newsfeed, and I got the same thing. Wow, that's weird. But uh, the cool thing is, is that. Um, when I shared it with Glitz and Glam TV, the Glitz and Glam TV Productions page, it sandwiched it together. It kept this blurb in together. It kind of glued it together. So that's pretty cool. Definitely weird. I mean, this this is definitely weird. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. This is this does get confusing even for me. Uh, let me try to use another example. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna find something that. Uh, let's see, uh, going down further. Okay, so this one I shared directly to the Glitz Glam TV Productions page from YouTube. So let's see how this one works. I'm going to click share. Share to newsfeed. Ah, there we go. So for some reason, um, for some reason, Facebook likes YouTube. And it, it lets you include the original post. For some reason, it doesn't like Spotify. Sorry. Sorry, Spotify. Sorry for people who are using Spotify. I don't know what the deal is. Facebook is sometimes a mystery. But I hope this clears a little bit up for you. Uh, like, for example, if you wanted to share this to your page and you wanted all of this information plus the name of the page that you're sharing, you would click Share, Share to Newsfeed, and then just make sure you tick off the box that says Include Original Post all this stuff will post, all this stuff will show up above the video link. You'll see the name of the page and the blurb that they wrote. And then you click post and then the whole entire thing posts to wherever you're posting it to. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope I didn't leave you more confused than you already were. I hope this cleared a little bit up for you. And uh, I'll, be, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.